Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how I solved uh, Captrix level 2 from Vulnhub. Uh, I've decided to start a series of Vulnhub as well because um, my <coughs> Hack the Box VIP subscription expired, but I'm gonna buy one soon after the exam period ends. So I'm a little bit sick, so sorry for uh, sorry for my voice. <laughs> All right, um, first I've opened. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start with Keoptrix level 2 because for some reason Keoptrix level 1 doesn't work. And Keoptrix, I've started Keoptrix, Keoptrix level 2 in uh, VMware. So I have it open here. As you can see. Yeah. And now I'm gonna use Kali for for <coughs> for this for this box. All right, so with Vulnha boxes, first we need to say net discover. Oh, sorry, sudo net discover. Yeah, so we can see our boxes IP. Uh, the strange thing is that you know, if you can see going to uh, to Keoptix level two settings, it says that. The IP is 172.16.1.102 uh, But the thing is that I think there's something broken with uh, VMware for Mac Because this is not the actual IP, I'm gonna show you But that IP is not the actual IP So I have to go back to VirtualBox Yeah, it's gonna take a while, I'm gonna skip to the moment that it finds the It finds our box Be right back Alright, so it found uh, it found our box. So as you can see, I previously said that 172.16.1 and 102 was assigned to our box, but it's not the case. So this is assigned to Apple Inc. I think uh, Incorporation. I think uh, it's something broken. Maybe it's my actual host machine's uh, IP. So, yeah, yeah whatever. Uh, now I'm gonna go to my <coughs> to my folder where I've uh, where I have where I have the nmap scan. Keoptrix two. So the IP is one seven two sixteen uh one hundred seven one hundred seventy seven. Okay, so I'm gonna run nmap minus uh minus a the IP. Minus O N and nmap.txt. All right, um, but I don't need to run it because it's already I already saved the output in the nmap.txt file. All right, so I'm gonna make it larger a bit. All right, so we have an open SSH, one port twenty-two, HTTP. RPC bind, SSL, HTTPS, um, IPP, but it's forbidden, so nothing to do with it. RPC as well, and MySQL. So um, yeah, first I run a I, I ran a Deerbuster on the website, but nothing nothing special popped out. So if we go to one seventy two sixteen one one hundred seventy seven. I think, yes. All right, we 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 can see that there is a website. So what I th tried first is a basic SQL injection, like that. Control A, Control C, Control V, and it worked. <laughs> so we have um, we managed to get into the uh, admin console. So if we inspect the page. Uh, Control U. We see that it uh, gives a it does a post request on pinget.php. So usually when I see a field like this, I do semicolon because <clears throat> perhaps uh, on a p on a ping PHP file, it uh, has the <clears throat> exact uh, PHP function. So if I do this semicolon, you know, look. If I if I if I go back to the terminal, if I say ls, 
semicolon id see it executes my first command and then with a semicolon you can put another one and which is th this is for ls this is for id right so it's pretty simple so i do that and say ls oh yeah and it worked uh, we have index.php and pingit.php and we can also cat index.php for example but it's nothing uh, special whatsoever all right so what i did is i searched for um <coughs> sorry bash one liner reversal like that and we use pentest monkeys uh, one liner reverse shell paste it here we change the IP and the port number and basically uh, so our IP is one one seven two sixteen one uh, one one hundred seventy eight like that 172, 16, 1, 178. Uh, I'm gonna run uh, sudo nc lvp333, like that. And now we're gonna submit. And if we go back to the. Yeah, we got a reversal. And if we go to home. We have two users. Nah, yeah, but we can't. We don't have a permission for them. So, what I did is, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna remove. Oh, actually, yeah. So first, I ran uh, linanum.sh, which is the, which is uh, our usual approach, basically our usual uh, vector approach for um, privilege escalation. But after that, I didn't really find anything interesting. And, uh, you know, running the... Um, uh, Godmeal ha has a, a pretty awesome list of privilege escalation commands, which you're, you're really, really, really supposed to know them if, you, if you're going to take the OSP exam. So, you see, it has some... Um, useful commands to know the um, kernel version, the Linux version, and so on. And in our case is 2.69 dash 55. And if we search this online, here, <coughs> yeah, we find exactly the exploit database for, for our, um, for our uh, Linux version. All right, so we copy the exploit. Well, I'm gonna create a new terminal like that. And basically, you say nano, let's say exploit uh, root dot c. You paste it here. Uh, Control X to save it. And yeah, I'm a nano user. <laughs> And then now uh, we create a simple HTTP server on port 80. All right, we go back to the um, to the machine. Yeah, we are on temp. Uh, and we do wget. Um, uh, w get http 10 10 10 and my my mach uh, no not 10, 10, 10. <laughs> i'm used to the hack the box ones 7 172 16 1 178 um slash exploit root.c yeah and we saved it and now we compile it gcc minus o exploit root exploit root.c all right and we do chmod to give it um, executable rights chmod plus x uh, exploit 
root now we execute it uh, again oh never mind <laughs> yeah you see we are already root even though we said no job control in this shell and if we exploit it again if you use the exploit again it's gonna say check your UID and my UI, um, <coughs> my uh, ID is root so we are root and if we go to root there's nothing uh, special here I don't know how the how the vulnerable boxes work I don't know if I'm supposed to find anything else but we are root so yeah this was it all right thank you guys for watching and I'm gonna do a um, very quick Keoptrick series because it seems to be pretty easy and if you would like to see more videos please <coughs> subscribe like and share this video thank you so much guys for watching and see you next time bye